Welcome guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my grandmother's famous lamb bone broth. I apologize in advance for my vegetarian vegan followers, but once in a while a woman and a man do need some blood. And this is a very nurturing, nourishing, blood building formula. I have a secret tip, actually I have two secret tips that I'm going to share with you on chickpeas because a lot of these legumes have lectins on the skin on the outside and I'm going to tell you what to do so you don't get the lectins and you don't get gassy. The other thing is how can we have some starch like potatoes, like rice, being Persian we eat a lot of rice and we love rice. How can we eat it so that it doesn't spike our sugar and our carbohydrates? Stick till the end and I'll share with you how. In Chinese medicine when it's fall and winter time we do need to eat with the season and so it's really important that we switch from having salads and green smoothies and a lot of cold or cooling foods to more warming blood building foods. So this is really good for the immune system. It helps if you have light periods, period cramps, infertility, miscarriages, it builds blood. It's also good for men and women who need to build collagen, who have tendon issues, who might have knee pain, shoulder pain, aches, and the liver, which stores iron, this is full of iron and really rich in immune building ingredients such as ginger, such as onion, such as garlic such as turmeric, anti-inflammatory, root vegetables. We have potatoes, we have salt, and we have chickpeas, and of course, lamb shanks. You wanna get a bone versus that is actually really large. So the lamb shanks have a lot, you can see it's a very strong bone, right? So for calcium, for kids that are growing up, I find a lot of them are anemic. They don't have enough iron. They're not absorbing a lot of the nutrients. So this has got calcium, it's got minerals, and it's got iron. And yes, because it's in the right amount, they do help your body absorb it. So let's get started. I usually make this in the morning, first thing, and it is ready by lunch, super easy. As you can see today, I'm working from home, put my hair up and put some mascara on for you guys, and I'm just gonna make this literally in less than five minutes, leave it on, and then at lunch, it's ready for the kids and I to enjoy. I'm not a huge meat eater. I have been vegetarian and vegan for many, many years in my life, especially in my naturopathic career, however, Animals have life and no one wants to kill an animal, no one wants to think about what's happened, but so do plants. To me, all species should be respected. And so for my vegan and vegetarian friends, you do not have to obviously use this, but it's very hard to get collagen and blood the way we do from animal proteins. And sometimes, especially as female, my body does not feel good when I'm vegetarian or vegan for too long. I become very deficient, I become anemic, and no matter how much I have to supplement, I don't feel good. So I always say, match it to your disposition. If you feel good being vegan, great. And if everything looks good nutritionally, that's fine. However, most of us do need it once in a while. You don't want to eat meat all the time. It is inflammatory and it is acidifying to the body. But this is a very good thing to have once in a while in the fall and in the winter. If you don't have time to soak them overnight, you can just get canned chickpeas. Make sure it says BPA lining free. There's no BPA or bad plastic inside the cans. And then I just put it here and hold this under water. And what you do is you just basically squeeze out. You can see so easily the skin comes off just like that. And you literally get very fast at doing this under the water. It's super, super fast. And they just kind of come off just like that. This is what you don't want to eat. This stuff is going to give you gas and you just wash that off. You don't have to be crazy OCD and get every single one, but at least get the majority of the skin off, you see? and that will help you feel better after and not feel so full and bloated and gassy. And if you are making your own chickpeas, so right here I have non-canned chickpeas. What you wanna do is soak these overnight and just leave them in the morning, wash the water off. You'll see some bubbles at the top and that's where the gas is. Wash it a couple of times and just throw it into the bone broth ready to be made. So if we're eating potatoes or rice, this is gonna to turn to sugar in the body, right? So what do we do about that? There's something called resistant starch. Resistant starch is instead of eating these potatoes just the way they are, hot, and the rice the way it is, warm, wait till it gets a little cooler and add some olive oil to it. And then it will not spike your insulin and your sugar as much. 
Such a good tip. Try it, let me know how it goes. So you just cut it in half. And I'm not gonna use garlic today, just not feeling it, but you can absolutely put one or two cloves of garlic in to help the immune system. This is something that we give kids as one of their first meals in Iran. I think I was probably six months old when I had one or two teaspoons of this as my first food because it, you want to build iron and calcium for growing bone. So this is really good for kids to have. Also, I want to just prep you that this is really simple. You don't even have to cut anything. I cut the onions in half. You don't have to cut anything. You just throw these in there as it is. Whatever root vegetable you want to throw in, no carrots. My grandmother doesn't put carrots in there. She doesn't put garlic. She makes it super simple and is delicious and so good for you. I have this sea salt that has turmeric and sumac and lemon and all kinds of nice things in there. You don't have to have this. You can just put regular sea salt and then turmeric powder. And as you know, peppercorns can help the anti-inflammatory effect of turmeric come out. However, these peppercorns you're not gonna eat. It's just there for flavor, okay? So just put a handful in there. And then one of my favorite things to put the spice fennel, fennel seeds. Fennel is really good for the digestive system. If you're even constipated, chewing on some of this will get you going. So fennel seeds, you just throw some in there. Again, you're not probably gonna chew on this, but really good for your gut. Now, some people find this a little fatty. So if your gallbladder is weak and you are having a lot of this, you'll see collagen and fat. What you can do is add tomato paste. So tomato paste and some dried lemons. Now this I get from the Persian store. It makes it nice and lemony. If you don't have dried lemons, you can just squeeze some lemon in there or put half a cup of orange juice in there. So that's a totally different flavor. I would say try both. My kids love the tomato paste flavor with the lemon. I prefer the regular way, the way my grandmother makes it. So there's two options you have. You can have it with tomato, with to without tomato. So one thing I forgot to mention is the lamb. Where do you get this lamb from? I only get New Zealand lamb because of the way that they treat their animals. It's antibiotic free. So be careful what you're eating. What the thing you're eating eats is very important. What did that animal eat? You are also consuming that. How was it? raised so new zealand lamb shanks i get this from whole foods you can also get it frozen i like it fresh and you can use one this is probably good for about two three people if you have more or you want to make it leftover and freeze it for the entire week you can put two lamb shanks in So I noticed my water was a little high, no big deal, just remove some. So you want to have enough water to cover everything because this is going to cook for about three or four hours. So it is going to go down and you want to have some water left. The whole point of this is the broth. So in Farsi, we call this abgusht, which literally means the water from meat. It's not just bone broth, it's meat water. And so if you really don't want to eat the meat, don't eat the meat, but at least have the broth. So this is enough water right here. I've got everything in there and now I'm gonna add my spices. So I'm gonna add some fennel seeds and I'm gonna add some turmeric, handful of peppercorns, about that much, and some salt. And now I'm going to turn it on extra high on my oven or stove. So go really, really high until it boils. Once it boils, you put it down on low for about three or four hours. I love my green pan, non-toxic pan, super important. And once it's, you have about 30 minutes left, that's when you wanna go and make your rice. And I just soaked my rice overnight you don't have to, but if you have rice, just wash it a couple of times before you, you actually start cooking it. You can see here the water is a little bit light in color. That's what you want to wash over and over again. And you want to use organic because rice has a lot of arsenic in it. Chicken has cadmium and arsenic and things like this are not good for our health. So we want to make sure we're getting good quality meat, good quality starches. And then you can serve this. You'll see how I like to serve it. My kids like to eat this on top of the rice, but you don't have to use rice. You can just have this with some gluten-free sourdough bread. You can have it on its own as a bowl. You can have this for breakfast. You can sip on this throughout the day. So great for leaky gut, so great for your immune system. 
especially if it's cold and wintry and snowy outside, start your morning with some bone broth. Okay. Just so, the lunch is ready. Boiling. All right, guys, the food is ready. It smells delicious. As I said, you do not have to have rice. You can just have the broth. You can have the meat. You cannot have the meat. Look here at this gelatin. You see how it's hardened? And this is so good for your joints, for your skin, for your hair, for your nails. So I've got a little bit of rice here, and I'm just going to put everything on top of it. Remember, you don't really eat the onions. I mean, you can if you really want to, and you don't eat the peppercorns. So you can take a little bit of this New Zealand lamb shank. And one of my favorite parts of this meal is actually the bone marrow inside the bone. This is so good for your kidneys, your brain. And this is a delicacy. Usually we give this to our, our guests, but you can see here inside this is the bone marrow. Hopefully the bone is big enough and you can, usually I give this to my kids and they just suck it up or you can get a straw and a metallic straw hopefully and just extract it super good for you you put some chickpeas and then don't forget the broths so usually i put the broth like this on its own for my kids i'll just have them sip on this first and or what you can do is just pour it over your plate and kind of have a soup lots of different ways you can enjoy this let me know how you enjoyed this bone broth, if you changed it up, if you let this cool down, as I said, and add some olive oil on top of the rice and the potatoes, always leave the skin on so that the fiber helps your blood sugar. Super, super nourishing, blood building, and really good for the fall and winter seasons, really good for your immune system. And that's it. Let's see how this tastes. I'm going to start off always with something warm to help the digestive system. Oh my God, it is so, so good. Honestly, it's really good. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe, like, and share this with anyone who has any digestive issues, skin, hair, nails, fertility, joint, Pretty much everyone should benefit from this kind of bone broth that is really good for you. Let me know below where you're from and how you like this dish. Thank you.